Hi, I'm making this video today to show you how to use Google to research your family history. Um, Ancestry.co.uk is a brilliant website and it's great for building the structure of your family tree. However, £20 a month is quite expensive, it's like over £240 a year. Um, so Google's free and you can find a lot of information as I am about to show you with one of my relatives. So I'm going to search for this gentleman. His name uh, is Alexandra Frank Osborne, but I'll put AF Osborne and I know that he fought in uh, the Duke of Cornwall. Cornwall Infantry during World War One. Oh, so you can see straight away Alexander Frank Osborne's come up on war records. Of course, you've got to pay for them. If you scroll down, however, you see there's this looks like an auction site, and it is an auction site. So, uh, Wednesday, 13th of September 2006, there was an auction. And if uh, I scroll down here, you should be able to see AF Osborne, yep. Duke of Cornwall, he was a stretcher bearer who died on the 21st of August 1916. He received the military medal. Um, and there's his name, Alexander Frank Osborne. We've got his, uh, reg uh, his personal number. Um, we can see that he died at number 36 casualty clearing station on the 21st of August and his wife and her son received um, the medal from the Duke of Connaught at Wellington Barracks on the 31st of August 1917 so um, where do we go from here? That's a that's a lot of information. Firstly, like you know, there's even a letter here, which is written from uh, the platoon commander to his wife. So you know, very uh, sentimental. Um, my first inkling is to copy this and go to Google and find out where he died, what was he doing at the time. So it was number 36, and this website tells you about all the clearing stations and where they were. Um, so if we go down to number 36, you can see between April 1916 and March 1917, it's a place called Heli. If we go back to Google, give this a little search. And he is a commune in the Somme. There you go. So we know he died in the Somme area. Um, the next thing I would do is there's this really good website called World War One Photos. .com. And I found this by chance one day, and I think it was a good discovery <laughs> by chance. So. Um, it's got to think about World War One, but you can go to photos and obituaries. And if you know their um, regiment, which we already know that, Duke of Cornwall, there we go. It's got all the people in here, which they have a photo of, or maybe an obituary. Um, let's see if we search Osborne. Oh, there he is, he comes up. Os Osborne comes up um, just there. You click on the photo, and there is a catch because they ask you to pay three pounds ninety-five for downloading the photo. And I have downloaded the photo uh, a previous time, and it was a good quality photo, and it was worth the three pounds ninety-five. So that was a great uh, that was a great find. So just through finding the article. Uh, uh, um, at the auction site, I have found where my uh, relative died. I found a picture of them, so you know that it was a great find. And okay, it did cost me three pound ninety five for the picture, but 
it was very cheap, you know, but very sentimental. Um, I did contact the auction site. It's always worth contacting them, and unfortunately, they couldn't pass on any of the details uh, of the individual who bought the medal. Um, but yeah, so it was a very good find just from using Google. Um, so if you uh, like my video and it's helped you out, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much. Bye.